Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue with the next question. That is a gate CSE 2006 question 47. Okay, yes. So let us start. So consider the depth first search of an undirected graph with three vertices P, Q and R. Okay, so let discovery time DU represents the time instance when the vertex U is visited first time. Okay. And the finish time FU represents the time instance when the vertex is visited last time okay so given given that so we give three values okay so which one of the following option is true okay so now let us understand the options guys so you visited p at 5 and 12 okay so you went at 12 and you came back at 2, two sorry we went at 5 and you came back at 12 okay so you visited q at 6 and 10 so basically from p you went to q and you came back guys Okay, so if you take R, you went to R at 14 and you came back at 18. Okay, so that sounds different, right? So if you draw a diagram, so it will look in this way, right? P, Q, R. So this is the connection. So first from P, you went to Q and then you came to reversed back and you came R. So basically to from P, you started, okay, at 5 units. You reached Q at 6 units, you waited at Q until 10 units and from Q you returned back to P at 12 units, you went to R at 14 units and you stayed till at R at until 18 units. So this is the flow like how you went. So you went here, from here you started depth first search, so you came here. So you waited for some time, you checked whether there are any depth or unvisited nodes adjacent to this so there are no nodes so you came back and you went here so in that way okay yes so now they are asking the question with respect to this graph so it is saying that there is only one connected component okay so for me also it looks like that only but let us check the options okay so there are two connected components okay so here it is saying that there are two connected components and one is p and r are connected okay so are p and r connected guys Okay, so there is a line in between them, but I think that's not absolutely correct, guys. Because if it is a true, so just to give me a second, I'll be cross-checking, guys. Okay, so depth first search with an undirected graph with three vertices P, Q, R, let discovery B, T, M, D, U. Okay, and visited instances, okay. So here we are using a depth first search, means you will go inside, 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 okay. And you will track back if there is no particular path, okay. Yes. So just to give me a second guys, I'll be cross-checking once again. So I'm just getting a doubt here. Okay. Okay. So the small trick here is, so if you went to R at 18, so you should track back to P at some point, right? So after it is done, so that is the reason why the value of P should be greater, right? So greater than 12. So let me draw it again. So from P, okay, you started at 5, okay? So you went to Q. Okay, so uh, when you went to Q, you went to Q at 6, okay, you stayed till 10 there and you returned back at 12, okay. So after that, we are assuming you went to R, okay. So there should be an arrow here, okay. So you uh, went there at a 14 and you returned back to R at 18, but you never returned back to P, guys. But if there is an arrow, you should return back to P, right. So where you are starting, you should come until there right if you recall right yes so that is the mistake here guys so there is a no arrow here so there is no direction there so with this you can say that option a is wrong right so there is only one connected component okay similarly moving on there are two components so the first component is a p to r there is a connection so p to r are we having connection no are we having connection q to r no are we having connection p to q Yes, so option D will be your correct answer guys. So the only trick here is if the value of P is greater than 12, that is nothing but if it is greater than 18, then option A will be correct guys. So just because the value is 12 means it, it came here, okay, but it did not return back here after 18, if the value is greater than 18, like 20 or 21, at that time A will be the correct answer. So now you got the logic, right? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question guys. So even I was confused initially with this question. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next question, next lecture with the next question. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.